Hey guys, it's Nicole, and today I have another video from my massive backlog of scrapbook generation page kits. Uh, this is pretty old, and I'm guessing it's probably from 2013, just looking at the papers. This was kind of when my mind's eye sort of jumped the ship for me. I used to buy everything that they came out with. I would buy two or three of the same sheets of paper. I loved it. And then it was right around this this style and this um, time period when they sort of just were not... I don't know. I don't even know what it was. It was just too, too weird for me. They had changed their papers and everything. So um, I can tell just from the papers, which I think is cut and paste, yes, cut and paste, um, that this is definitely an older kit. And this is from when they used to call it Sketch Day 1 and Sketch Day 2. Basically you have enough supplies to make a two-page layout. You just pick which uh, layout you're going to follow the directions and the sketch for. Um, they do offer a option to double up on the papers, so you could potentially have a kit that makes seven double-page layouts instead of five. Um, the five is pretty overwhelming to me, so the thought of seven was kind of like, nope, I'm going to just force myself to um, pick and choose which one that I absolutely want to do, and then you do always have that other sketch and that other sort of sample layout to go off of, and you could completely just stash dive and kind of do your own thing and get that sketch used up as well. And I keep all my sketches, I keep the printouts that I do, I just kind of file them in a binder and I just file them based on how many photos per sketch. So when I'm going through my sketch binder and I'm kind of looking for a sketch, um, I will kind of look above and below the number of photos that I'm trying to use. So if I have six photos, I will probably look at sketches that have anywhere from three photos to probably nine photos just because I know I can kind of manipulate the sketch or change it to fit my needs. Um, so I don't automatically just go to the exact number of photos that I have and try to find a sketch. I think it's fun to kind of look at a sketch that was maybe intended for a different number of photos and kind of make it fit your own thing. So back to the layout. Um, this one took a little longer just because you had to cut all these little strips out from the pattern papers. Um, one of them, the pattern had these triangles on it to begin with and then the ombre ones were the back side of one of the other patterns that we were using. And then um, sketch day one and sketch day two, typically you don't have any embellishments that they've included in the kit. You are using the papers to sort of dress up your layout. So for this particular one, it was um, a sheet of cut aparts where it was three by four cut aparts. So a lot of the three by four cut aparts were used. Um, along with 3x4 photos to sort of fill in gaps on a photo collage and then there was different pieces that we fussy cut to make our embellishments and you'll see that here in a second. So it's always kind of nice to sort of have those reminders of other ways to be looking at your papers as far as um, things that you can kind of fussy cut out or maybe change to have it look more like a die cut or a you know a paper embellishment and not just have it be this flat uh, three by four cut apart and typically on this type of layout I probably would have gone and added stamping and you know different things that I could add to it um, this again was part of a speed scrap challenge where it was just down and dirty I was just trying to get stuff done this particular one I'm pretty sure was towards the end um, I'm not editing the videos in order just because they're kind of a mess in my hard drive so just as I'm finding things I'm going ahead and editing the videos so by the time I got to this one I was just like oh let's just get it done I ended up having to do it in a couple sessions and um, I believe at one point I had to walk away and come back at night um, I just was sort of in this mentality of go 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 try to get it as much as I could get done before, you know, the the timer on the challenge sort of went off. So I didn't bother doing any any stamping or anything additional. But um, this is the type of layout that I normally would be drawn to do um, 
some stamping just to draw interest to some of these flat three by four cards like the one especially on the left with that big white arrow I feel like that offered a great opportunity to kind of do some stamping or even um, maybe some stickers for my stash or something and I can probably go back and add that later you know I haven't filed them on my albums yet so I may go and add a couple things up there on that card that says good times were had by all and um, these photos are something that I let my kids do whenever it happens because it doesn't happen very often if it rains in the summer where we live I let, throw my kids out the front door in their underwear and let them run around in the rain because it's kind of not something that happens very often and I kind of want them to have the opportunity to just experience like dancing in the rain and I won't let them do it if it's cold weather like typically we get a lot of rain early spring and then we kind of have this weird monsoon season which is when I'm like okay it's raining hurry up go outside and five minutes later you know it's dumped a couple feet of water but it's done so anytime that happens I am one to just kind of open the front door and let them go um, and again all of these layouts I'm just doing journaling strips and enamel dots and I'm just kind of keeping it the same for all of these it was quick and easy and I was really glad that I was able to get so many done during this challenge and I think that was it as far as anything else that I had added to the layout I'm just gonna add um, the date with a date stamp and that was pretty much it so there's another photo of the completed layout and I will catch you guys on the next video thanks <laughs>